Hello friends and welcome to another Pokemon news update video. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's episode we're going to talk quickly about the uh, recent news that we got dropped earlier this week in regards to the Series 6 rules update for the Rank Ladder going into effect from the 1st of September. So like I say, we got a news update earlier in the week, a complete curveball thrown at us, and it's something that's never happened in the Pokemon world, competitive world before, and they are creating a ban list going forward in to the new series 6 format of the Pokemon Sword and Shield uh, online ladder rules. So what Pokemon have done have taken the top 10 usage from the singles ladder and the doubles ladder. Those Pokemon in the top 10 usage stats have been combined and a list of 16 Pokemon has been created where they will no longer be able to be used going forward from the 1st of September making up the series 6 rules. So I've got on the screen right now we're over on showdown here uh, the list of Pokemon that we're not able to to use going forward from the 1st of September which is in a couple of weeks time so as you can see they're obviously all the the top contenders big Pokemon that have been making uh, on carving out the current format that we're playing in so some big changes going forward we've got Venusaur, Gmax Venusaur there, Gyarados, Porygon 2, big Trick Room setter, we've got Sand uh, with Tyranitar that's been a huge player since the start of the format, Torkoal as well so we're not going to have that that mode with Torkoal Venusaur anymore more. Uh, you got Hippowdon. It's more of a singles um, impactful Pokemon, I would say. It's not really going to affect the doubles ladder too much, um, but that's why it's in this list. You got Magnazon, uh, just introduced within the Isle of Armor, a bit like Porygon 2, um, just starting to make some big waves as well. We've seen players like James Eeks uh, have a lot of success on his Twitch streams recently with Magnazon. So to see that go, and there is a big importance behind um, Magnazon going, we'll get into a little bit later in this video, at least in my opinion, and uh, the kind of knock effect that's going to have. Uh, Togekiss, another one we're seeing not going to be able to use that anymore. Redirection gone and uh, the fact that it's just a perfect check to something like Urshifu is a really impactful change going forward in my opinion. You've got Excadrill again pairing up with the Tyranitar. We're not going to have that Sand Core anymore or that available to us. Uh, Whimsicott huge huge pokemon to lose especially for a lot of players it takes away a lot of different strategies and um, especially with that pranks the tail when then it's got access to fake tears taunt uh, just a really annoying pokemon beat up stuff as well is all gone uh, incineroar now this is probably one of the ones i'm more sad about than anything else um in intimidate incineroar has been a big player so far in this format since being introduced and um, now to lose it for the, the stability that it gives a format is a big big change um, Mimikyu again it falls into kind of the more Hippowden um, category with singles rather than doubles although I have recently been playing it myself in doubles and it's been doing an incredible job so again sad to see that go Rillaboom, uh, obviously I don't even need to say anything about Rillaboom since its introduction to the format. It's been incredible. Grassy Terrain uh, and Grassy uh, Glide, just two incredible move combinations that you can make use of with Rillaboom. And uh, again, falling a bit into my argument uh, that I'm going to go into later with the Magnazon, uh, but we'll get into that a little later. Cinderace, um, again with the Librero ability. Another Pokemon that we're going to lose now, uh, recently introduced with the Isle of Armor, the G-Max Cinderace there. Indeedy, and this goes for male and female, both variants are going to be gone. Um, so the Hatterene uh, and Didi combination completely gone. Uh, Indeedy male Alakazam, not seen so much at the moment, but still a combination that we're not going to see access to. The Psychic Terrain is completely gone for the moment with Indeedy leaving with this ban list and then topping it off with Dragapult as well. Uh, another Pokemon that it's really not left the top 10 usage stats since its introduction within Sword and Shield. So some big changes here um, and some interesting ones. Firstly, I'll get into my opinion on what I think about this new uh, rule introduction. It is something that we've never seen Pokemon do before, but I think um, it's a good thing. Honestly, I know there's a lot of talk about players not thinking it's it's um, it's positive thing or anything like that, but I generally am welcoming it. Um, I was just saying on my stream, 
over on Twitch on, on Wednesday evening how I was feeling uh, really uninspired at the minute, not really motivated to play the format because I, I felt like uh, all the teams that I'm creating, looking at, are all very much the same going forward, the things that we're playing as well. Very much the same teams over and over and over again. Uh, the sand calls, the Tyranitars, the Trick Room stuff. So to see this all leave is quite refreshing. It refreshes the format and I think on a different level it will benefit not only uh, individuals but the entire Pokemon competitive community overall because I think it's going to make players uh, take them out of their comfort zone. They're going to have to, they're not going to be able to rely on these strategies um, that are always there and, and something to fall back on. They're going to have to think outside the box and use some maybe underused Pokemon, underused strategies uh, to create and carve out a new format and be successful with these new Pokemon um, in a slightly different way to what they may be used to. So I generally think it is a very good thing and I think it's a good move by Pokemon. My big quip and uh, I'm curious about going forward is how they're going to manage this ban list going forward because you can't say at the end of September or the end of October when the next series updates that the current top 10 usage not including the ones that are banned already of course we're going to have a new top 10 Pokemon list um, what are you going to do? Are you going to take those out and then bring back some of the Pokemon that you've taken away before? Because then we're just going to end up in a situation where we were before these new rules got implemented. So I think the balance of being able to take Pokemon out and bring other Pokemon back in, but not in big bulk numbers like we're seeing right now, is going to be an interesting thing uh, for them to manage and go forward with. But in general, I think it's a very good thing. I think it's exciting. I'm excited about it. I'm looking forward to getting into what feels like a brand new format. And um, it will be really interesting to hear what your guys' opinions are. So do leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on um, these rule changes coming into effect on the 1st of September. Now quickly before we do anything else I just want to cover some um, of my thoughts about what the format's going to look like going forward. I've just thrown some things together. I don't want to keep this video too long so I'm just going to try and keep this under 10 minutes so we'll be as quick as possible going through what some Pokemon that I think are going to be good going forward. Obviously uh, Gmax Lapras is still available, has lost its uh, its buddy in uh, Whimsicott, but it does have a new friend in Talonflame. And now, depending on how popular things like Urshifu are going to be, which you would imagine are going to have big impact in this new series, I think Talonflame with its Gale Wings ability, that priority Tailwind that it can throw up, especially for something like Gmax Lapras, which really benefits from that, that is going to be a big player in this new series. So I think that combination there is going to be pretty, pretty good. Now my next thing, and this getting back to the Magnazon, the Rillaboom, the Gmax Venusaur, uh, Tokol Tyranitar going out the window. I think if you look at series one to four, before we had the introduction of Gmax Venusaur, before we had the introduction of Gmax Rillaboom, Rillaboom with Grassy Terrain, with Grassy Glide, uh, you saw uh, a big part of the format dominated by these bulky water types and I'm talking about G-Max Lapras, Primarina, Melotic, Rotom Wash. Now as soon as the Series 5 came along, G-Max Lapras and Rillaboom came onto the scene, they checked all of these Pokemon. These Pokemon were not as powerful, not as predominant as they were. Now they're gone, I think it opens the door for these water types to come in and have a bit of a free-for-all. So these are some of the Pokemon that I think are going to be big players and big Pokemon going into this next format. G-Max Lapras of course, um, um, always going to be very good, very strong. We know how good it is already. Without those checks there, it's going to be even stronger. Politoed, I think, has an easy time now without Tyranitar and Torkoal and the grass types to disrupt it. Primarina, going to be one of the better fairy types as well. And with that fairy water typing, again, we've seen how good it can be. Even in a format with these Pokemon... So it's just going to get better. Melotic and Rotom Wash to kind of round those off. Uh, these Pokemon are still doing well now. So to have their biggest threats taken out of the format, it's just going to kind of push them forward a bit more. So that does worry me. And that takes me back to Magnezone, which is one Pokemon that you could maybe say, okay, well, this is now a format without these grass types. You've got Magnezone to fall back on, but now magnezone has gone as well. So it increases the usage and potential of these, these bulky waters. So that's my biggest kind of, uh, worry going into this format. Are we going to be dominated by these bulky waters going forward? Another call. Uh, obviously, we lose Porygon 2. Trick Room user. Uh, Dusclops somehow managed to dodge the ban list. It's been the predominant and premier kind of Trick Room user this whole season, uh, falling out the usage stats at the right time. Um, but I think something like 
uh, this combination is just the, the first thing I thought of. Um, obviously, having the Sandstream ability as well is incredible. So you've got that combination right there. I think this is going to be a good pairing. Dusclops, Gilith. Other Pokemon we've already mentioned, Urshifu. I think because Togekiss is out the scene now, Urshifu really benefits for that. Both forms, the Fighting Water as well as this Fighting Dog type. And you got Hydreigon as well. Um, because of Dragapult for one being taken out, it's going to have a really easy time. And two, Togekiss and also uh, Whimsicott going. Hydreigon is going to be a very good Pokemon. And the other thing to note about Hydreigon is it's base 98 speed stat. It does outspeed Urshifu by one speed point and Urshifu's special defense is trash so i mean hydreigon's gonna have a really easy time against uh, urshifu for the most part comma is an interesting one it's getting a lot of talk at the minute about how good it can be and i do honestly think it's probably going to be a, a good player i don't know whether it's going to make as much of an impact in the format as what some people maybe think it is but it'll be interesting to see um and then bravery uh it's going to be a bit like talent flame it does offer tailwind support and it kind of helps check things like urshifu to a certain extent uh, and it can do work against hydreigon and, and coma or as well obviously with the combination of flying and fighting that it's got access to now going on to the bulky water topic that i'm talking about um it's really kind of consuming me at the minute you need to look at grass types that we've got uh, access to now we don't have venusaur now we don't have rillaboom and we don't have things like Torkoal that could once previously like threaten these types as well as hard so um amoongus obviously going to be their redirection still going to be very good spore as well and it's not going to go away it's just going to make amoongus better i think uh ferrothorn another option rotom mo uh tangela is an, an interesting one especially with the evil or eviolite it does get uh, rage powder and sleep powder as well so and it also gets chlorophyll so it's got some nice options then we still have um canto nine tails with drought and bomber snow as well another weather setter here that i think could be um, an interesting grass type to check these bulky waters um, and then moving on you're looking if you're not looking to check the water types with grass you're gonna look for electric types now Dracozolt is a Pokemon probably benefits from Togekiss and Dragapult falling out of the format as well as Excadrill especially with Titar so that sand mode isn't there anymore to give it all those issues along with the other things so Dracozolt could see a quite an increase in usage. I think Rotom Wash is going to always be a staple if you're looking for a water and electric type. It's generally very good. I can see Rotom Wash usage going up tenfold going into this new format. Toxicity is an interesting one. It does have the G-Max ability as well. Um, so it's worth considering for sure. And then some odd picks on the end here. I've got a Alolan Raichu because Pinchurchin is in the format still. It's still got access to that electric terrain. So you can make use of Raichu that way. And then Luxray, it does have access to Intimidate. So it is an electric type and I have thrown it on just for that reason. Um, and then for Intimidate users, obviously losing Gyarados and Incineroar, the top two at the minute. We can always fall back on Arcanine. It's done well in every format it's been available and it's always an alternative option to uh, Incineroar. We don't have some of the text that Incineroar has, but it's still very good. Now, if you're wanting Fake Out and Intimidate, you can look at things like Hip on Top and Scrafty. Scrafty particularly enjoys the fact that uh, Togekiss isn't in the format anymore. And I think Scrafty is an interesting pick for sure. It's, it's a very good Pokemon and it would not be nice to see it do well. Um, and then obviously the Luxray but um, as I say I'm kind of conscious about trying to keep this video as short as possible we're already on 13 minutes so I don't want to go too much but these are just my initial thoughts um, and just the information about the news and the rules updating on the 1st of September I'd love to hear your thoughts friends um, and I hope you found this video uh, at least informative and some of the things that we've talked about interesting and uh, hopefully it sets you up well for going into the new format and just makes you aware of some of the things at least that I think are going to be quite important going forward and um, we've still got speed control i think trick room is going to be very strong obviously the dust clops there uh, tailwind is going to be a nice option you still got lots of options with tailwind as well so um, there are things I obviously haven't covered, like Gengar Bishop is another thing that could be interesting. Noivern, another Pokemon. Colossal, G-Max Colossal still going to be there. Weavile or even Eviolite, uh, Sneasel with the Inner Focus. There's a lot of things that are still going to be viable going forward in this format. But it's a big change. It's something that we're going to have to embrace. It's happening. Um, but I still would love to hear your opinions on what you think about these changes going forward. Like I say, I am welcoming them. I am looking forward to it. Um, I'm just a bit conscious about what they're going to do to keep this going and uh, moving forward into future series because I think there are a few problems ahead that I hope they've looked at anyway. So that is going to be it. Thanks for 
that is going to be it. Thank you so much for tuning in, friends. Have a great rest of your day. Um, and I will see you all for another video very soon. Um, so until then, take care of yourselves. Be kind to each other. And until then, take care. Bye-bye.